What's your advice for someone who wants a million followers? Um, how, do, how does someone get there? Find a repl replicatable way to do your content. What does that mean? So, with social media, you need to do a few things. You either need to set a schedule and stick to it um, and hope that your content is good enough for people to tune in every time you stick to it, or spam the shit out of everything that you're doing and just hope something sticks, and whatever sticks, you run with it. My advice to everyone that wants a million followers would be to go guns blazing. All of these weird things that these social media people tell you about posting times and hashtags this and all this kind of shit is absolute bullshit. It's called confirmation bias. A lot of it is confirmation bias. You don't know. Everyone is spitballing. You don't know. You're guessing whether or not the algorithm does this. Do you know what I've done throughout my entire content creation history? I just test things. And if it works, I run it. Give you a prime example. You see on TikTok, yeah? And a lot of people that use TikTok don't know this. And again, the only way you would know this is if you actually paid attention to the, to the, to the algorithm. There's a day on TikTok <coughs> or a specific time period that is golden for you. And I'll give you a prime example. If you post something and you can see it going viral, most people would just stop posting and let that thing go viral because they think that whatever it is that they're doing is going to affect the virality of that video. No, that video is already in the algorithm. Forget about it, allow it to grow. Understand you've got more ideas on your social media profile. Do more. There was a day when I, I think I posted a video, it went viral. And I was like, oh shit. I think it hit like maybe like 100K views in like an hour or something like that. I was like, oh shit, this is crazy. Posted another video. The next video started going viral. I posted another video. The next video went viral. Posted another video. The next video went viral. I think I posted maybe eight to nine videos in that day. And almost every single one of them went viral. And it was the highest growth I've ever had on social media. And one day, I think it was like 84,000 followers. Absolutely ridiculous. And again, it's because I, I saw the opportunity. I saw where my day and time slot was. I didn't just post one viral video. I was like, fuck it, man. I'm going to roll the slots. I just kept rolling. And every video went viral. And I just grew and grew and grew. Okay. I mean, when it comes to making content um, and having a lot of followers, it doesn't always mean like you're making money, right? Yeah, it doesn't. So, I mean, saying that, what advice would you give to someone uh, to make the most money out of their content? Make something that is unique to you. So, right now I'm in the middle of trying to create a business that is, how can I say, incredibly, um, it's, 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 it's for all seasons, basically. So, it doesn't just fit like Halloween, Christmas or something like that. It fits all seasons. There's something for everything. That's the business idea. Okay. Um, I've, I've been doing a lot more research now in terms of, in terms of monetization um, to kind of understand that the main, the main way that a lot of these social media content creators are making a lot more money is through building their own business. So, whether it's like, I don't know, you've sourced something and you've slapped an own label on it, and then you just promoted it through your social media, through some Shopify store. So that's a private label brand? Yeah, it just, yeah, it just, okay. it just makes money. People will buy anything if it's endorsed by a social media content creator. And not only that, um, if people are trying to make money, I would say um, find a way to um, make whatever you're doing unique. So for example, some of the biggest content creators that I've ever done it have a specific thing. And everyone can normally identify what that thing is. So prime example, Kebby Lame is, if you see someone do, you know it's Kebby Lame. Yeah. That's his thing. You see what I'm saying? There's a guy named Angry Reactions. His thing is being angry. So it's having like a, that's your branding, isn't it? Yeah, so you have a yeah. thing. You have a unique. Yeah, you have yeah. a thing and then you create something. You don't necessarily need to put your face on it, but you just promote it through the back end. So like what you're doing with the drink and <laughs> would you say that's, that's your thing, right? What? Like when you drink and you, you push out your lips. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So I sell, yeah, yeah, I sell, yeah. I sell, I sell merch and all that kind of stuff. I put, I've got like teacups. Um, and that's part of mats. your branding. Yeah, 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 like aprons. Like I had a, I had a, um, I had a catchphrase called not the pimienta, which means not the black pepper. And it just went absolutely crazy. So I put it on some t-shirts and sold some.
And it's doing well? It's doing well. That's good, yeah. yeah. Again, it's, it's a slogan that I made up through reacting to some food videos. If it does any good in general, it's good. Because all I did was make facial expressions to some food.